Fraps videos are too dark. Fix. Ever had your Fraps video footage come out really dark? Don't worry, there is an easy fix or how-to that converts your Fraps AVI into a common format that won't have the darkness problem. I can tell you what it is right now for Linux and probably Mac. Very easy, open a command line. Enter this. You replace input and output with your own file names, of course. More than one file? Put all the Fraps AVI files into the same directory. Go to it, and enter the following. The only snag is if your version of FFmpeg is old, that this won't work, but it probably won't be. Windows is a touch more complex since FFmpeg may not already be on your system. Don't worry, it's free. The other thing is that you may not be comfortable with the command line. Solution first, then we'll talk a little about what is going on. This is doubly helpful if for some reason you want to try a different solution. Sometimes it's helpful just to know what exactly is going wrong for when you want to find a fix for whatever software you already use. Anyway, I use WinFF with the latest version of FFmpeg. For some reason, WinFF comes with a quite old version of FFmpeg, so we just download the newest one and use that with WinFF. So, let's get the latest Windows build of FFmpeg. And grab the 32-bit build static, that's the latest. Just for simplicity's sake. If you can see a more appropriate build, grab that one instead. Just unzip the thing to the desktop for now. You can change that later if needed. This is just to give you a quick look at the actual files. Let's download the front end we need. You can find WinFF at install that and then run it. We need to do a few things before we can use it to convert what we need though. So go into the edit menu and click preferences. It's the MS Windows tab we're interested in since we're in Windows. All you do is hit the dot 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 box and then navigate to the FFmpeg executables we downloaded and up to the desktop. They're in the bin folder. Then we just need to create a preset. From the edit menu, this time hit Presets. We're going to base the new preset on an existing one using the same extension as the original Fraps file for simplicity's sake. So go ahead and click AVI in the left panel. And then MS Compatible AVI in the right panel. This should populate all the input boxes below. Change the preset name. I chose Compat because it's compatible with pretty much all encoders. The preset label is Fraps to Compatible. Now for the important bit. Here's what we put for the command line parameters. Dash A codec, copy, dash same Q. That's it. It means copy the sound exactly, and keep the same quantization but transcode the video into a different format. The same quantization in this case means essentially make the video look the same. Click add slash update, click save, and then click close. This makes the preset we've just made available to the main program. Back in the main program now, we're ready to convert something. So either hit the add button, or just drag files into the main window. Use the drop-down menus to select Convert to AVI, then the new preset. Change the output folder to where you want and then click Convert. That's it. The files it creates can be used with any encoder and your videos will no longer come out too dark. Now the how-to fix is out the way, what about the why? 
all of your video's information is inside the AVI file produced by Fraps. But some programs aren't great at recognising and correctly converting the colour space that Fraps uses to the more common colour space that most videos use. So what's happening seems to be that because the original file is in the colour space of YUVJ420P and we're converting to a different colour space and the encoder doesn't realise the source is YUVJ420P it assumes it's the much more common YUV420P and we get a target file that either discards the darkest and brightest parts of each frame or it keeps them but you can't see this extra data hidden in the brights and darks the video just doesn't display. The difference betwixt the colour spaces is the range of brightness they're meant for, with the J variant storing in the range 0 to 255, and the non-J variant using the far more typical video range of 15 to 235. One isn't really better than the other, but it is quite important to use the right one, otherwise we get what's known as black crush, where we lose all the detail turning everything below a certain level to just black. Um, there's also white crush, but it's less noticeable although it does give a vibrant contrast. Or, alternatively, we'll have a very grey-looking blacks and whites with muted colour. And wouldn't that be a cool place to put a hidden message? And if you can find that hidden message in this video, please comment with what it says. But that's all it is. Nothing more than the encoder you were using getting what exact format is inside of Fraps AVI a bit wrong. Pre-converting with an encoder that does recognise the odd Fraps colour space is just one solution. There are a number of programmes that use a newer version of FFmpeg that can manage it. Some encoders come with an option to manually select what range of brightness, video or TV versus PC levels, a video has, and there's always the method of simply changing the gamma with the encoder, although this doesn't always work if the information is actually lost. It's also not very accurate, but I hope this helps, and happy capturing.